In previous chapters, we discovered the magic of number 5, also called the golden number, golden ratio or divine proportion. And we also saw that 5 is found in the golden segment. With that segment, we can build many geometrical figures. And we saw that phi can also be found in many places in nature. But phi is also important in fractals. But what is a fractal? Let's draw a vertical line. And then we add two more, a bit smaller, separated and inclined. And we repeat the process with the two new lines, and again with the four new ones, and so on many times. The final figure looks like a tree. That is a fractal. Something that is created or grows, making similar but smaller copies of the original piece. The first one to propose to the public the concept of fractal was the French mathematician Benoît Mandelbrot in 1982 in his book The Fractal Geometry of Nature. We can find many fractals in nature. And with fractal geometry, mathematical formulas can be used to represent elements in nature. But what has phi to do with fractals? When we make the fractal grow, we use a proportion that is smaller than 1 to obtain the next level. In this case, that proportion is 0.55. We can see the branches remain separated. If we use the proportion 0.65, we can see that the branches overlap. If we use the proportion 0.61, the branches get very close, but they are still a bit separated. But if we use the proportion 1 divided by 5, we can see that the branches do not overlap and they get as close as possible. A fact that may better be seen using other fractal examples that grow with the proportion 1 divided by 5 and end up filling all the available space. of phi is also in fractals.